I am very pleased to be joined here today by David Eaton, analyst at Capital Network, to talk about Exerbia, a company which is privately held and developing affordable housing in India. Hello, David. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. So tell us a bit more about them and what the opportunity is for them. Exerbia is a large scale provider, developer of affordable housing um, projects in uh, the western state of uh, India, which is Maharashtra. And that is home to um, major expanding cities such as Mumbai and Pune. So tell us a bit more about what they do, their portfolio, their projects. Well, what they, they, they produce basically large scale, integrated, sustainable, um, eco-friendly, affordable housing developments, large, typically sort of 350 to 400 square feet in size. Um, and also some sort of retail um, sort of space as well. They're very um, keen to develop um, projects which are eco-friendly, sustainable. They have standard amenities such as parking, uh, good street lighting, community centres, that type of thing. So this is, you know, this is novel stuff for um, India and they are addressing a very substantial marketplace. Um, I mean, Mumbai, for instance, is home to um, 18 million people uh, and there are massive housing shortages both, well, throughout India, but certainly in Pune and, uh, um, and Mumbai, there are big shortages of housing. So it sounds to me that, that they are not just uh, developing and constructing buildings, they are actually creating communities. Correct. That's exactly what they're doing. Um, I mean, should we, it, you know, in terms of what they've got... Uh, their pipeline at the moment. Um, they have got 21 projects at various stages of development, um, roughly half of which construction has already started, and the other half construction will start in the next 12 months. And the scale of these projects is immense. They have, I mean, total land area is well over 530 acres. They will be producing over the next five to six years over 20 million square feet of saleable residential space. Um, and that will deliver in total something like 60,400 units, residential units. Typically, as I said, they are sort of 350, 400 square feet, something like that. I mean, in terms of um, the sort of the each development varies in size. But I think one of their biggest ones is a project called Hinjawadi City, which is in Pune, which is the IT hub. And that will deliver something like 10, uh, almost 10,000 residential units in, on, on completion. So, you know, this is big ticket stuff. Indeed, a huge opportunity. Mm. So what's the potential in terms of revenue? Well, they're projected over the next five to six years. This is the current pi pipeline of 21 projects. We're looking at revenues of well over in pounds sterling, so well over one and a half billion over that period. Um, and in terms of pre-tax profit, we're looking at well over 600 million of pre-tax profit over the five year period. I mean, in terms of sort of the margins, which is very important here, um, Exerbia, their total construct, so land construction uh, and overhead costs around about 29 pounds a square foot and the average unit selling price is around about £65 a square foot. So this is a high margin business, it's highly profitable. And so the average, so if you take an average unit, say of 350 square feet, that is selling for over £20,000. So they are targeting, as I said, this is the low to medium income households which are growing very rapidly. And what's the long-term opportunity for a company like them in India? The, the, long, the long-term opportunity is immense. I mean, the, there are some long-range projections which are suggesting that um, there will be, uh, you know, due to rapid urbanisation throughout India, there are some long-range projections which suggest that there will be 100 million, uh, a, a shortage rather, of 100 million housing units by 2030. Exerbia has publicly stated it wants to build 100 what they call smart cities by 2030. That's, a, that's obviously a very ambitious target, but the point about it is that if each residential, if each development averages in scale, say, 10,000 units, if you do your maths, it, it, it basically they will just meet about 1% of projected demand. 
I mean, it's, that's the scale of the opportunity. It's a very, very high growth business. Okay, David, thank you very much. Thank you.